Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson and this is day two of Scrap Timber 2022. I'm going to be working on a photo of my daughter-in-law and I chose some paper dolls today. I haven't used my Julie Netting paper dolls for quite some time and I also haven't used all of these different people images from the Close to My Heart catalogs. This is the Besties series and this is the Paper Pal stamps and thin cuts. This is the base one where it's just the body and just some facial features. I do have the stamp and the thin cut for this set. I also have Valentina, another of the Julie Nutting paper dolls. And then here is the girl accessories for that paper pal. Again, this has the stamps and the thin cuts. So here is this adorable photo of my daughter-in-law. She received some money for her birthday from my son and she chose to purchase herself some nice boots from Dr. Martens and she um, went to a concert to wear them and just kind of dolled herself up and so this is actually her birthday dinner night and so with the prompt black and white this is a perfect photo because she is wearing the black boots a black dress she has a light colored sweatshirt that's hanging off of her shoulders and then she happened to go in on the day of her birthday and have her hair colored so one side is a light color and the other side is dark it wasn't quite white and black but I'm going to use those to represent the white and black in the photo. So when this prompt came up today for day two to do the black and white, I knew exactly which photo I was gonna do. So here is that Julie Nutting stamp. I decided to go with the Valentina because she has some boots on that I thought better represented those Doc Martens. So in order for this image to show up on the black paper, this paper is from the Mixins from Close to My Heart, I use my White Daisy pigment ink. And you can see that it takes a little bit to get that off, but it comes off really well. So I stamp that directly onto this black and white piece of paper. Now, pigment ink is wet and it takes a little bit longer for it to dry. So I'm at this point, I'm, I'm filling in where it didn't work with the gel pen. And I'm debating, it's like, do I wanna just wait for this to dry? Do I wanna heat it with my heat tool? I decided to go ahead and emboss it. So I don't show the heat embossing on the dress part, but I'm gonna show you for the boots. So the boots were shiny. They were that, uh, oh, I don't know, what is that called? Kind of like the, the shiny patent leather. Anyway, I don't know the term, but I did find this piece of black cardstock that is shiny in my craft room and this is exactly what I wanted so I dug deep enough and I found it so you guys go through your stash and dig out the things that you've you've stored because you want that perfect project this was perfect for this project so here I'm showing you I use the Versamark ink which again is a pigment ink it's wet it's sticky I used the powder, powder tool on it first so that I wouldn't get this embossing powder stuck anywhere else. And so I chose silver because her boots were that shiny black with silver accents like chains and zippers on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat emboss this one. I didn't heat emboss the white for you, but I thought I would do this. And it's really hard on camera to get it to show up, but if you haven't ever heat embossed, it is it is so fun to watch it. So it's a powder that melts and becomes more of a, you know, a texture. So you can run your fingers over it and it has a texture to it. And that powder will wipe off. So I'm gonna grab my little rag here. I'm not gonna quite rub off the silver yet because I don't wanna wipe it off in case any of it hasn't completely cooled and hardened. And this is just fussy cutting. So this is what I do for my paper dolls. I like to stamp them in different types of paper, pattern paper, cardstock, stamp them on uh, just different textured paper. Like I, I've seen a lot of people use like the dictionary paper and that's exactly what I've used on my Julie Nutting dolls way back. So here she is. I've colored her legs to kind of match the black nylons my daughter-in-law has on. So I used just this stamp. I stamped it whole on a piece of kind of off-white paper and then I just glued everything down. What you can't quite see is my coloring of her hair. It is the half and half like my daughter-in-law. So that didn't really show up as well on camera as I was hoping it was, but the hair is half and half. So there's my Julie Dun Nutting doll re basically replicating my daughter-in-law. So this is actually where I used on my Cricut to do an overlay for another layout that's coming out on my channel. And I didn't wanna throw that away because I'm thinking this is great. This is actually a frame. 
So what I did to kind of stiffen this up since I'm using that mix in black and white paper, which isn't very heavy, I glued the two frames together and that gives it a lot more stability on the sides, whereas it's kind of weaker in the middle where the pattern paper is. And this is the zip strip that I cut off of this pattern paper, again from that mix in paper pack from Close to My Heart. So that makes a perfect black and white border at the bottom. So we're still sticking with the black and white for today's prompt. And you can see where I've also gone around the inside of that frame and the outer edge of that uh, border to uh, with, my, with my black. And there is a chain and a charm. I just used my liquid glass to glue that onto this picture. I just went into Google, Google Doc Martens, and I came up with this image of a boot. So, you know, that's where I got that. So I'm giving credit to whoever it was that posted that on, on Google. It wasn't my image. And these are some old sparkles I had in my stash. Oh my goodness, you guys, I joined uh, Close to My Heart this second round in 2012, and these are from way back at least then. So let's get our stuff used, right? So this layout was just a lot going through older products and bringing things out that have been you know, near and dear to my heart, and I've hoarded them because I want them for special layouts. Well, isn't every layout special? It should be, right? It's our family, it's our friends, it's our memories. Here is the stamps that I have here about different sentiments, and then it had that big U on there. So I originally was like, let's stamp that and cut it out, but I was like, no, let's go to our letter stickers. So I found those large letter stickers you see laying there, and I happen to have Y, O, and U. So where did these large stickers come? They actually came from the party the engagement party that my son and daughter-in-law had. I made a bunch of posters. So how perfect to use these large stickers on a layout about her. So I, I thought that was a great tie-in. I probably won't remember that years down the road, but here it's recorded on the video, right? So I did glue down the Julie Nutting Valentina with some fun foam behind her. And now I'm just going to adhere these sticker letters directly to my page. And like I said, they are a bit of a glitter, not real shiny, but there is just a little bit of a texture to them. And I'm using the lines on that zip strip to kind of space them apart, hopefully get him spaced out well enough that it looks balanced and, you know, cohesive. So there is the big U because this layout is all about her. So here I used a stamp from that stamp set I was showing you that had the big U and it says, uh, what does it say? Today is all about you. And so I use, and then I put the wrong stamp tape on here so it just kept peeling layers and layers so I'm just showing you I went for a thicker set of a uh, foam adhesive here from close to my heart I'm not sure what that first thing was that I used but it wasn't working it was real thin stuff like you would do to adhere something flat to a page so I've stuck all those extra pieces over up on my all-purpose mat and I'll, I'll figure out what to do with those after the video so here is that picture that I took off of Google you can see where I put a brad through to show a little bit more of a silver embellishment on there and then with my liquid glass I glued down that chain with the little star charm on it I don't remember what the charm was on the boots specifically but I did want to again replicate that that I know that there was charms on those boots and a lot of bright silver uh, you know embellishments on them so here, just putting some more fun foam behind this photo, as well as that foam adhesive from the roll that I was showing that I thought I had used originally on that uh, Today is All About You. So here is my layout. Thank you, Scrap Timber, which is Scrappy Sisters, Laura Alberts, and Christy's Beautiful Life. They give us the prompts each day for September. Some of us join in every day, some here and there, but uh, there is a playlist in the link below and click on that and each day that something goes up those particular videos will go live so like i've recorded this and put it up in the month of august but once i put it into the playlist it'll pop up on the appropriate day so keep coming back every day in september to see all the fabulous things that people are creating with these 30 days of prompts in scrap timber thank you for being here please like subscribe and share and go around and see what everybody else is doing thanks for crafting with with me tonight take care bye